Good morning, guys. As we know, the markets are now open after a Easter long weekend, and I hope each and every one of you had a great long weekend and have been excited to get started with this trading. As I have, uh, it's almost seemed like a bit of a curse that we've had to wait that long just as we start to get trained up. So I'm absolutely excited. But um, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, a quick recording, because I know we've got a recording for iPhones about how to use MetaTrader 4 on the phone um, and it does look slightly different so I just thought I would uh, just quickly jump in try to get my head around it and I think I sort of do now so if I thought if I'd made this for you guys for everyone out there that has an Android and uh, the better of the two phones I might just throw in there um, we can go ahead and make sure we're, we all know what we're doing and we're on the same page so pretty much guys this is your MetaTrader 4 app here all you want to do is go to quotes now let's say um, I've been following a Euro JPY uh, pattern this morning and um, we've decided to go down and make that trade. Pretty much what we wanna do is just click on the Euro JPY, the combo that you're after. You wanna go new order. Now what we wanna do here is if, you've got, if you're gonna do an instant execution, so you wanna jump straight in the market, you're gonna leave it to instant execution you're gonna set your sell stop. Now on the iPhones, it actually says sell stop, um, sell stop, but on the Androids, it doesn't. It's just got the red and the green boxes. So that's the, the one thing that I've um, had to try and work out because it doesn't actually outline clearly what it is. So hopefully that helps you guys. So you wanna set your sell stop uh, in here. So this sell stop was 127.50. And a take profit of 126.167. Okay, and then obviously choosing your lot sizes. So you can add or minus here. Um, you can throw in one cent, 10 cent lots or one dollar lots. Um, but to start with, we'll be conservative and go um, 30 cent lots. And then guys, basically all you would do is hit sell because this is a this is a sell trade, so looking to actually ride the market down. So we'd hit sell there and you'd be, bang, you'd be in the market. Um, now let's say that we wanted to set a pending order. On that computer, it actually says pending order and I think on the iPhones it actually says pending order. But on the Androids, it doesn't. It's a little bit more technical because um, the Androids are for smarter people. <laughs> so, um, Pretty much what you wanna do here is go a buy or sell limit. So if it's a trade that you're looking to ride down, it's a sell limit. So you're gonna set a sell limit and you're gonna put in your price that you're actually gonna to look to enter the market in. So for example, on this trade, the maximum entry is 127.561 and I've just all I'm doing guys is reading that off the harmonic scanner. Basically, what we're gonna do is set the same sell stop. So that's that's gonna stay the same there where the little cursor is here now. And the take profit is, you can change, or that's the that's the take profit number one. You know, if you wanted to take that to change profit number two, whatever what you wanted to do, you could do as well. Once you've done that, you're gonna hit place down the very bottom of your screen. Once you've done that, that will actually set the order to be pending. As soon as the market hits your entry point of 127.561, you'll be bang in the market. So guys, I hope that helped a little bit. Um, the other thing you can do is jump over here into your charts. You can pinch and zoom like the iPhone into your trades so you can actually see no. I've entered an uh, instant execution trade a little while ago and also set a sell no. a pending order for the um, for what we just spoke about then as well. So, no. you can go, sorry guys, my phone's just going nuts here. Mm. Then you can um, go in and see your history after you've made those trades as well. So guys, I hope that helps just a little bit. Uh, I just thought I quickly made that just because I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't actually see any videos made for the Androids for this app. So. Hopefully that helps a little bit, guys, and um, yeah, just the basic things like not being able to see where's the, what, what the sell stop is and the take profit, and it's actually just colors. So hope that helps out, guys. Have an amazing day, and hope you all have some successful learnings uh, trading today.